Hi guys, welcome back to the Artificer channel. Today I'm really excited to show you a brand new kit release from 2021. This is the Swift Boat Mark I classic brown water navy craft, seen extensively throughout the Vietnam War doing patrols in the Mekong Delta. And I'm really excited to show you this brand new kit from Ravel. So let's have a look inside and see what we've got with this brand new release. The box art looks amazing. It's uh, really nice the way that Ravel has reinvented their boxes. On the back you can see a really nice finished product and also a couple of ideas about the colors that you'll need. And the sprue itself. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. So we've got a whole piece a lot of parts to this kit and a very nice instruction manual. So looking at the instructions, Ravel has done an amazing job over the years of reinventing the way they present their instructions. Gone are the days of the simple black and white and now as you've seen with many of their newer kits they have some really nice illustrations. This is a level 4, so don't be fooled. It doesn't look like much, but there are a lot of smaller parts in this one. So straight away, jumping into the instructions, the first stage gives you an idea of the way that they've added color now. It makes it more bright and vibrant, and gives you a better idea of what the model will look like. As you can see here, areas to drill holes, little pieces. Everything is broken down into very simple stages so that it makes it easier and a more enjoyable experience for the model maker. Moving on you can see the cockpit and also the interesting kitchen feature with a faucet or tap for my European friends. And you can tell that this is going to be quite a nice, easy, probably a weekend build I would imagine. The detail on this kit is really nice. You've got some good stair detail, you've got the radar and you've also got more of the kitchen cabinets and the crew quarters. Even a fire extinguisher, which I think is quite a neat little addition. Now what I like is the use of the clear plastic parts, and you'll see that later on. I feel like if you wanted to, you could do a cutaway version of this or just leave the lid unglued so you can lift off the whole thing. Which I'm tempted to do, to be honest. Again, such simple breakdown of the construction to make sure that you don't miss anything and that it's an enjoyable experience. Now the only gripe I have is that part, but I'll come back to it later. This will be a fun build. As you can see, the instructions give you some fantastic ideas. And also there's a lot of interesting weaponry. That is in fact a mortar and a 50 cal added on top of each other. Quite an effective offshore battery. And to finish off you've got the safety railings that go all along the side of the patrol boat and you can rig it up. Now what I like about this kit is the extensive decal set that they give you. Now these are all types of decals for different periods of the Vietnam War in the Mekong Delta. And you've got different paint schemes. You've got the Coastal Squadron 1, South Vietnam, 1966 onwards, which is a grey scheme. And then you have another version. A lot of different options. And it gives you plenty to play around with. 
So moving on to the sprue, there are a lot of small pieces. The quality and the detail is typical Ravel. And you can tell they've got a lot of pieces that have been carefully molded. The 50 cal could have been a little bit more detailed for my liking, but I'm not too fussed considering what I'm getting. Unfortunately, there was a piece that did break off, and that's the only issue that I found with the sprue. I did find it, I did manage to glue it back together, but it's just something that you've got to watch out for, especially when you're pulling out the sprue. Overall, the first sprue though looks nice, the detail, look at that, that looks fantastic. You're going to have a really nice time putting the windows on, and also you've got like a little safety raft and the controls, which I think look really good. To be honest, I recommend that maybe you leave the top part of the ship unglued so you can literally lift off the whole thing to reveal what's underneath. The second sprue is a little bit more sparse. You have a lot more larger pieces. And also there are some quite smaller pieces. There's the fire extinguishers, the rudder couple of more machine guns there, doors, and the cabinets to the kitchen and the sink, which I think is a really cool little addition. I love the interior in this model, I think it's very inventive. The only issue I have is this part that I mentioned earlier. It could have been better, that light. The light looks very uh, 2D. I probably will cut that off myself and maybe twist it around because I just don't like how it's just been molded into one piece. Yeah, I'm not sure about that tower with the light. I feel like it lets the whole kit down, but that's just my personal opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now this is quite nice. I, I love the hole. I have thought about possibly maybe doing something a little bit more unusual with this kit, seeing as it's very buoyant and I have tested it out a couple of times to see if it would float, maybe possibly I might turn it into an RC version, who knows. If not this kit, it's probably going to be another one I'll buy at a later date. But the actual top part of the hole, after snipping that area, fits in like a glove, it really does. And you've got a lot to work with there. You can easily paint that, prime it, get it ready, or you could put the cabinets in already. Lots of detail there on the decking, which I think is really nice. The size of the patrol craft isn't too bad either, it's quite a nice size. Onto the clear plastic parts. They look really nice. They're very unusual. And it's nice to actually have these in the shapes that are already pre-prepared. I think it will make life a lot easier for when you're trying to add the windows. So finally onto the decals. And they are nicely printed. There's not a lot of bleeding taking place. And it feels like the film around the sides isn't too much of an encroachment once you put down the decals. They look good, the color is nice and vibrant. I feel like they will really bring this model to life. Now what do I think overall? I am very excited to build this one. I think this has a lot of opportunities to put inside of a diorama. I'm thinking the brown water navy. And also, it's kind of inspired me to maybe look at the riverine craft that were involved in Vietnam. I have been extensively researching and getting hold of books. I used Osprey for a great reference. I think you will like the projects that I've got coming up in future, especially around this.
this was a kit that I had to get. I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I am. And I think this will be a great one to get for your collection for sure. Well guys, until the next review, I will see you then.